Hello friends. In this video we're going to look at this Altec Lansing computer speaker subwoofer. I got this at a thrift store for three dollars. It's pretty cheaply made as you can see. I've already got it taken apart to a large extent. Pulled out the subwoofer element and the main board which connected to this panel that was on it. I've actually already salvaged some parts off of this after having decided I wasn't going to try to save it or use it. We had four large diodes here and in particular we had this large filtering capacitor that I reused in my last project which was uh, the Yamaha RXV367 so I recommend you check that out if you haven't seen it yet but to take a quick look at what we've got here lots of miscellaneous uh, passive parts I haven't looked these up but I suspect like at least this one and this one are op amps this is the power amplifier module that probably has three channels this is the kitty cat and we've got this kind of hooky uh, heat sink here which is just seems to be a piece of bent aluminum so this whole thing is designed for to be inexpensive looking inside here we can't see a whole lot except that there's a transformer and a uh, little fuse board these are connectors that went to the board I just showed you but those were easy to pull off so now I'm going to do a little bit of destruction on this and then uh, show you the pieces that are inside Scooter you want to help with the destruction? I'll take that as a yes you're going the wrong way though. I already pulled the screws out of the little uh, fuse board. I broke this epoxy. So we'll just kind of keep breaking things. See what happens. Looks like I'm going to need a tool of persuasion to get this little piece of epoxy taken care of. Well, I poked at that with a screwdriver and then finally some big wire snippers to uh, get that loose. So that's loose to that extent. Take these screws out, which should free up the transformer. This is kind of fun. The transformer is actually spinning along with the screw, as you can see. Now we're ready to pull out the transformer. there we have it looks like I'm gonna have to destroy this plastic to get the uh, cord out that'll free up the transformer we can unwind its connection here um, this doesn't seem like the greatest idea to put it around the audio speaker cable but uh, you know maybe everything cancels out who knows or that might have been just a mechanical thing so now we've got our speaker here for the put on the shelf lots of screws sticking to the speaker screwdriver and just for the heck of it we'll prove that this is aluminum it doesn't stick the scooter's been having fun playing with these screws and he wants to get in on the action now How'd you get yourself so dusty? Here's a little tip if you want to destroy some plastic and don't really much care what happens. The old bolt cutters. This is a two-handed operation, so here's the before. Here's the after shot. Turns out it wasn't easy to do even with bolt cutters and I ended up using my uh, lineman snippers again. But we got it. Right, Scooter? 
let's take a look at this box this is a combination of uh, as I understand it, it's called medium density fiberboard or maybe this is high density fiberboard but it's kind of a wood pulp type substance that's uh, different from particle board but basically the same same basic concept we've got some plastic pieces here that don't have any real value so I think this entire box is going to go in the trash can make sure the kitty isn't inside it and the rest of this I'll just throw in the uh, I've got a salvage tub that I can salvage this more if I want to later or eventually send it out as e-waste uh, there may be a few things here worth salvaging but really not much so uh, it's probably not even worth the trouble at this point there's a couple of additional points uh, I looked this up this is uh, an op amp TL084 which is kind of a standard quad op amp I believe this is a four channel amplifier and I since this unit only had three channels of output a left and right and subwoofer I kind of suspect that they ganged one of the channels together um, the fact that the transformer isn't center tapped only has two outputs tells us that uh, this is an entirely single ended system there's one last uh, test we're going to turn this on I've got the transformer hooked up to my voltmeter getting 14.63 volts out of that with 121.8 in so this is approximately a 14 volt transformer so this was just kind of a short video I'm going to wrap it up here and let Scooter say bye bye Dude, that's not a good kitty box. What if you can't get out of there?